The BlackRock World Mining Trust has a, a, a very clear objective, which is to deliver a superior total return uh, through the cycle uh, by being invested in shares of companies producing uh, commodities, specifically mining companies. The BlackRock World Mining Trust doesn't really have a peer group. Um, it is the only investment trust uh, that focuses in on the mining sector. Uh, and so it's, it's not really, there isn't really anything to, to, to look at uh, when, when thinking about this space uh, in terms of direct comparables. In terms of the investment process, it's very clear. Yeah, we are always looking for value uh, and we're always looking for value to drive that total return objective um, that we have uh, from investing in, in securities of companies um, through the, the normal uh, investment cycle. The resources space is incredibly cyclical. And so we will go through periods of high excitement and strong returns and periods of weakness, uh, a little bit like the kind of boom bust uh, cycles attached to many political um, decisions. We invest uh, predominantly in, uh, in, the, in the publicly listed securities of mining companies, but we also have the flexibility to own resource company debt, to invest in royalties, to use options, to use leverage uh, in the portfolio as well, uh, but also to invest in private companies. Uh, and we make use of all of these tools. The, the, the Mining Trust is, uh, is, is run by the team here at BlackRock. Uh, and we are all um, very long in the tooth now. Uh, I've been doing this job for um, about 28 years. And so we have incredible connections throughout the industry. And so ideas come from a variety of different sources. Ideas can come from meeting industry contacts, uh, meeting companies, uh, management teams, uh, meeting people on the sell side who are doing the research, going out and, and visiting assets on the ground and seeing the mines uh, in the flesh as part of our kind of due diligence process. Uh, and ideas come from all of these different types of encounters. They also come from our colleagues at BlackRock. You know, we have an amazing array of very talented people that we work with. Uh, and those uh, people generate ideas to do with macro. Um, if we're thinking about China, we're thinking about global demand for commodities, to thinking about political risk uh, and so on. So ideas can come from all over the place. And what we'll, our job is to try and capture as many of them that are gonna generate value for the trust. Yeah, we've been through an incredibly strong period um, for the trust. You know, after the kind of the, the, the peak of the last cycle uh, in 2011, you know, there was a five year downturn uh, where resource companies had to try and get their act together, repair their balance sheets and rebuild trust uh, with investors. Uh, ever since then, it's been a very strong bull market. So numbers are, are, are very positive indeed. Uh, over the one year through to the end of October uh, of 2021, the, the total return uh, of, the, of the trust uh, is around 47% versus the broader uh, UK market, the FTSE all share uh, of about 35%. But over three years, the trust is up some 97% versus the all share up 20. And over five years, we're up 123% versus a 30% return for the FTSE all share. So this, this sector that we're invested in, the mining sector, is, has a heavily correlated relationship with lots of kind of key things that investors should be thinking about. Uh, one of the ones that is on investors' minds today is inflation. Commodities have always done well uh, in periods of inflation, particularly when inflation surprises um, to the upside. So for those investors looking for a way to capture some of the opportunities from the inflationary outlook that is now prevailing the market, uh, the mining sector is a clear place to look. We also benefit from growth in the global economy. Um, the big uh, plans that many countries are now rolling out to, um, to meet the net zero transition uh, over the next 20 or 30 years will require you know, decades worth uh, of trillions of dollars being spent on infrastructure. And that is going to be good for commodities demand. And then the third thing to mention is obviously the relationship between the resources sector and China. Uh, China is the world's largest commodity consumer. 
uh, consuming nearly 50% of most major commodities. And therefore, when China is doing well, the resources sector tends to do well. Um, but that relationship is less uh, linked today because of the strength in other economies around the world. Thank you.